night, I look down on the mobs crowding the barstone streets and feel a dark, bitter envy. I covet their comfort, their vibrancy, their life. Fairfax Castle, silent. My dear Helena, my cherished Amelia, I miss you both terribly. There's no more certain cure for pain than anger, and I'm filled with enough of that to bring the world to a smoldering halt that people would accept death and despair as part of life, as fate, is beyond my comprehension. I find myself wanting to shout into their ignorant faces to shake them out of their complacency, for surely they are insane. This world and every living thing in it must surely be insane. Oh. What can I do for you? Mm. Mm. I resumed my research today. I can read for an hour to stretch before that dark cloud descends upon my mind once more. Get you whatever you need. Anything else to sell? I should make a profit on that. You have good taste. There's no finer item in this town. Ghost the moments of clarity I have must suffice, I think. Perhaps in these papers I can find something that will ease my suffering, and even that of others. By the illustrious Gazoons, it's you again! Our fates do seem to be interbindified, don't they, my good friend? As a matter of irrefutation, I can think of no one better to become my new business partner. Oh, it's my most sagacious plan yet, inspired by my newfound faith in Toby. That's the temple of business and yodeling, of course. It's through Toby that the idea came to me. Take a land rotten to its very decorum and metamorphalate it into a friendly holiday park for all the family. One day, Westcliff will be a tourist entrapping amusement zone. I just need a small investment to get me started. I earnestly certificate you will get every crumb of it back with behemothic interest, naturally. <laughs> We'll be rich beyond the wildest dreams of Toby Trotter himself, the founder of the temple. Mm. 
wondrous. I will notify you by letter when I've completed the project. You'll see some constipating changes, I swear by Toby. I shall begin my enterprise at once. Ah, good! You have returned! I haven't been able to procure the powerful conduit of all-seeing clairvoyance, as I like to think of it, just yet. But my source has brought me a second curiosity, just as cursed as the first. Surely you can't resist such an attractive offer? You won't regret it, I hope. But just in case, remember to spend some gold on my other, less unusual items. Welcome to my Cave of Wonders. Try our... Amazing new toothbrushes, guaranteed to polish your smile to the purest white. Not recommended for anyone with chalk allergies. I sense the presence of the living. Hear my plea, mortal one! I was once a brave knight, cursed by a vile necromancer, to spend eternity in this terrible dimension. Only the wisps who hide nearby can release me from this torment. Bring them to me, that I may find peace at last. The wisps fear all that is living. 
Hide behind the visage of the dead, and you will gain their trust. Lead them to me, I implore you. This bewitched statue shall open the way, if you can mimic it exactly. You will need to find the beast's costume before you can open the gate. Its pieces lie further along the path, but beware the true monsters.
Remember, the wisps fear living flesh, only in the guise of a corpse. I can feel the chains that hold me slipping away. Bring me more, I beg you!
lies within that chest. You will have to become the most brutish of all creatures. Can you do this? sense of humor, and a twisted love for costume parties. It was his belief that no hero would ever stoop to wearing such ridiculous outfits, and so I would be trapped here. Sunshine, bring them to me!
Thank you, witless mortal. You have granted me my freedom. Now, I will grant you the greatest gift of all. Death!